Yes, sir. Welcome back to another video. Here today, as you guys have seen by the title, we're talking about the two freebies that have jumped into the My Hero Academia global version. We're going to be talking about if these freebies actually are free because I did receive a lot of comments talking about how there is a very, very a big chance that you can't even obtain these two things. But I'm going to try and clear everything up for you guys, tell you about everything we have here today. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Once again, the entire closed beta has ended and I wasn't able to record any gameplay on the entire thing. <laughs> PvP was impossible to get through uh, because playing on blue stacks is literally because again recording and all of that it doesn't work so I wasn't able to get any gameplay whatever I do find and whatever I can put up on screen for you guys I don't want to keep replaying that same trailer because it gets old at some point I'm sorry but again I did load up the entire other version of the other server that is online I have gotten a few clips on that but it's not enough for this video if you're new to the channel though hit that subscribe button and if you haven't already left a like consider doing so because it really does help me out a ton we've officially cracked 2k subs on the channel which is practically insane to think about holy crap we were just at 1.8 two days ago thank you guys so much for all the support with no further delay let's jump into the video and let's talk about what we got here today so for everyone wondering again the title is exactly as it states there are two freebies in the game currently with the entire closed beta we had a lot of information first of all for anyone that does not know already the closed beta on screen you're taking a look at it has officially closed yes get it see what, see what i did there but they have shut everything down they will remove everyone's data from the game everyone was wondering yo what wait wait, wait a minute people are getting a head start in the game no the closed beta the data won't actually transfer onwards to the actual game on launch so they state we have officially closed the android cbt test all of the account data has been deleted please be aware of the matter we will take feedback and suggestions from the agents again mostly the feedback was positive there were a lot of people asking for a lighter version of the game and there were a lot of people asking for you know the fix on the entire hundred pity thing for anyone that may not know already there is a banner in the game that is for a hundred right it's a pity out of a hundred i think that is not the starter banner or it might be the starter banner it's one of the things i don't want to mix it up but um i think the bakugo banner that they showed was out of 70 there was another banner that's out of 100 that was the only thing people were reporting to fix but in the beta we also saw something we haven't seen before in the other version we have two things that are for free one is the chance to get Endeavor, and the second one is a chance to get Aizawa. So for everyone wondering, yes, the Endeavor one is in fact, you have to place top 10 in your selected server or your selected region in order to receive him. Now, let's be honest here, okay? Getting top 10 is not an easy feat at all, and I don't think any single free-to-play player will get that unless you are God and you're just, you know, 24 hours a day grinding into the game. You're sharing your account with people. I don't know. I still don't think that's possible, right? But... At launch, we don't know if this could change. Remember, everything I say here could change. Take it with a grain of salt. But there's no way you're getting uh, Endeavor. There, there really isn't. It's impossible. But again, let's forget about Endeavor. He is a character. I will say it again. He is not free to play. I did mention that in my last video. There is, there is a very small chance you can get there. If you are a free to play player and you do make it to that spot of top 10, you are insane. You deserve a, you deserve a reward. Holy crap, congrats. But when it comes to Aizawa, it isn't really the same case. The challenges go like this. Raise any three heroes to level 80. Raise any six heroes to level 80. Raise any one hero to S rank. Then another three that I got. Again, there are more that I am missing. Again, I couldn't get into the game to show everything off properly. But raise any one hero to S rank. Uh, then raise any three heroes to S rank. Upgrade any one hero of class A to SS rank. Now, throughout these challenges, there's a few of them in there that will be a little bit challenging for free to play day one. You do have two weeks to go and complete this. And I'm going to be honest with you right now. This is a free to play event. You can still do it. It will require you to grind. You have a chance, right? I will tell you now it is not like, yeah, you can easily walk in the park, get Aizawa. But again, you're getting a free unit, which is Aizawa, one of the best best units in the game he is completely broken he's on a literal another level but the fact is yes it will require you to grind it you're gonna have to spend some time in the game you're gonna have to dedicate your first two weeks grinding this entire challenge out jumping into it i'm telling you now raising your heroes to level 80 is a little bit of a challenge yes ss rank all of that stuff will take you some time but think about it from their perspective they're doing this to incentivize you to jump in right when the game starts to break all of these challenges down and get aizawa Yes, again, it is not it's not easy. That is why. They're not going to just give away a broken unit like that for free. I don't think anyone would actually do that. Again, from the company standpoint, they want to bring hype. Because, again, people were saying there's a small chance. They don't actually keep Aizawa. It's just a placeholder image. All of that stuff was said. But 
I do feel like it is a very, very proper business move from their part. They're going to drop the best unit at day one. You already know everyone's going to start hyping up this unit. Everyone's going to start using it, and you're going to want it. And in order to get it, you got to download the game day one. You got to jump into it. And I do think over a 14-day you know, span with whatever freebies they do slide us, with the pre-registration stuff, all of that, you will have a little bit of help in completing these challenges. Again, I want to make it clear, yeah, they're not, they're not a walk in the park. Same with Endeavor. That's definitely not even close to a walk in the park. That's not even, that's, that's, that's near impossible. But here, there is a possibility for you to get this. So make sure you guys do go and pre-register, jump into the game day one. Again, we don't know the release date. We can expect it over the next two weeks. Be ready for that and keep that in your head so you do not miss any time for these challenges. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that was helpful and I hope I was able to, you know, guide you guys in the proper direction. I wanted to clear up the entire thing of people thinking, you know, Aizawa is not obtainable. You have no chance of getting him. You do have a chance. It will require a lot of grinding and you should be able to get it done. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you leave a like, sub up. That helps out a ton. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later!